Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you two different ways you can conduct anonymous surveys inside Microsoft Teams, the conventional way and the better way. So the first method we'll be using will be polls and to use it effectively, as you can see, I've created this little group chat. And then right where I would type my mass message, you know, I'm letting them know that I will be conducting an anonymous survey. I'm clicking the plus icon and then I'm selecting polls. This is really straightforward, really easy, but it's not as advanced. So let me put in my question right here and add options for answers. There we go. And we can toggle on multiple selections as well. And right here, I have the options to record names of respondents. All right, so I can check this or leave it unchecked. So since we're conducting anonymous surveys, we're not checking it. We click preview to see what our poll will look like, and then we send it. And that's pretty much it. Now we can skip over to what the results will look like. So once you're little poll is completed, this is how you will see the results inside Microsoft Forms. Well, that was nice and simple, but it was lacking in certain areas. What if we didn't have to create a group chat? What if we could use different question types? And what if we could use AI to analyze survey results? Well, we can. And to do that, we will be using the highest rated performance management software in the Microsoft ecosystem, TeamFlect. Let me show you how. Here we are, we're using TeamFlect, that's the dashboard, and I'm heading into Surface. So under surveys, I'm clicking new survey, new survey from my team. And look, this is where I can pick and choose any survey template I want, but the anonymous DEI survey serves our purpose right now. Let's pick, you know, survey participants. If I have a note, I can add that as well, but then I'll click create and send my survey out to them. So we just sent out the survey. Now let's go into the perspective of a respondent and see what it's like to be completing it. So here we are inside Microsoft Teams yet again, but this time we've received a survey through TeamFlect. Let's see what it looks like. And as you can see, this is a completely anonymous survey, but look at all the different question types available to me now. We have a rating question, multiple choice questions, a ranking question, and below we can see the Likert scale in there as well. We also have the options for open-ended questions as well. And once we click submit, that's it, it's done. But you can see how comprehensive this is. And to see the results, we're heading into surveys, my team surveys, and this is the survey that we just completed. Let's click on it. And as you can see, all the answers are completely anonymous. And we can see how the responses were dispersed between different answers. We have a very detailed report right here. But to take this a step further, we have another option. And that option is called generate a report with AI. Let's see what happens if we click on it. As you can see, we have a cover page and if we scroll down, we can once again see all the survey results. But if we go down further, we can see an AI generated summary of the survey results, all the takeaways, as well as recommendations based on the results of this survey. Now you tell me which option is better. And the best part is the solution I just showed you, TeamFlect, is fully free with full functionality for up to 10 users. That means you can head over to the App Store right now and give it a try without any commitments. But that about brings us to the end of this video. What did you think? Are you ready to conduct anonymous surveys inside Microsoft Teams? Just let me know in the comments. Guys, we release helpful Microsoft Teams content like this one every single week. Subscribe so you don't miss any of them. And if you want to try the best survey software in the Microsoft ecosystem, TeamFlect, a try, you can always click the link in the description. Bye-bye.